Aloha, it's Kiana Kayab Yavin here. Today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelists each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. Honolulu police arrested 10 demonstrators today, including local leaders, for obstructing buses carrying replacement nurses to Kapi'olani Medical Center. The protesters, demanding an end to the lockout of 600 union nurses, blocked the hospital's driveway by sitting and linking arms. Among those arrested were State Representative Kim Koko Iwamoto and other community activists. The nurses have been locked out for 10 days, fighting for safer staffing ratios. Kapi'olani officials stated they support peaceful protests, but stressed the need to keep access open for patient care. A 58-year-old man, Ryan Routh, was arrested near former President Donald Trump's Florida golf course and is facing charges of attempting to assassinate a major political candidate. Routh, originally from North Carolina and a recent Hawaii resident, allegedly pointed a rifle toward Trump on September 15 while he was golfing. Prosecutors also revealed a letter in which Routh referenced an assassination attempt. He is currently being held without bond on two gun-related charges, with more serious charges expected. Territorial Bancorp has reaffirmed its commitment to merge with Hope Bancorp, rejecting a competing proposal from Blue Hill Advisors. Territorial's board cited the stability of the Hope merger and concerns about the uncertainty of the Blue Hill offer, despite its higher purchase price. Blue Hill Advisors had offered $12 per share and emphasized the potential for Territorial's recovery, but the board remained confident in the HOPE deal, which has already cleared several regulatory steps. Shareholders will vote on the HOPE merger by October 10. A former downtown Honolulu office building at 1060 Bishop Street has been converted into 52 affordable rental apartments for low to moderate income households. The project, supported by a city subsidy program, offers studios starting at $1,950 and two-bedroom units for $2,506. The apartments are available to households earning up to 80% of Honolulu's median income, with tenants expected to move in by October. This marks the first use of the city's 2019 Bill 7 program to turn a commercial building into residential housing. The Hawaii women's soccer team scored four second-half goals to defeat Hawaii Pacific 4-1 on Sunday at Waipio Peninsula Soccer Stadium. Goals came from Kate Sheehan, Fabiolo Zamora, Tatum Porter, and Laulea A. Muksang, bringing the Rainbow Wahine to a 5-6 record. HPU's Cassidy George scored for the Sharks, who are now 0-1-1. to In sailing, the UH co-ed team finished second at the PCC SC Match Racing Championship with Stanford taking first. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.